and welcome back to another review on the Acer B Touch E210. Okay, after spending um, you know a few days with it, I think about two three days already. Uh, so far, there's not much of a problem or any complaints. Um, apart from uh, there's a new issue that I I believe that you know uh, I need to address to you for those who are intending to get this phone. Okay, is that if you notice that actually the screen is in uh, landscape mode so you will face uh, don't be surprised if let's say you were to face some application whereby instead of showing a proper you know landscape mode such as like this okay, what's gonna happen is that when you are opening something like this okay, you tend to notice that the screen actually goes uh, portrait so probably it's due maybe due to the issue that you know when this application was developed they were doing it in you know in a candy bar mode but uh, for this display is going to be something like this so for instance okay if let's say calling calling probably you won't be able to you won't, you won't actually there's one video call so I guess it's, it's not an issue okay this I'm using Skype now Let's see how this one calling on uh, 3G at the moment. Okay. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Okay, this is a test call one two three four five. So basically, when you are, you can actually run on speaker mode. If not, uh, you know, just uh, like using a regular phone call. So, yeah. okay, this is a test call one two three four five. As you can see, so the line clears so because due to the internet mode, connection. Not, you know, just, uh, so like if you have a good uh, internet connection, you won't have any problem with that. So, okay. But um, as you don't have to worry if, let's say, you were to chat with the person. Okay. Yep. So the message should be still the same. So, so this is my guy there. Hello. Hello. So you won't really have to worry about um, chatting on Skype. So this is something you should, uh, you know, which I feel feel that uh, you have to know about when getting this phone, right? And another thing about this phone is that okay, uh, it's good that you install some task killer as well. So actually, it frees up some memory. And the market for Malaysian user, good news. Okay, you are able to see paid applications. Okay. So it pretty much unlocks pre all, all the applications actually. So yeah, we, we get to see paid application now already. Okay, so this is uh, something you should know. Yeah. Alright, and of course, uh, yeah, you still have your free apps and all that. So some games also do, do actually turn into portrait mode, especially where, like what, what happened in Skype just now. But apart from that, I think it should be alright. So, another thing that with this phone, it actually comes with a few pre-installed software. Okay, one of them is uh, actually it's a Spinlet. Okay, what this does is actually it streams, um, Acer actually streams uh, music online. So you can actually look for the type of music you want to listen. It's loading for a while, okay. You can see that. I don't think you can see it. Fix it. Okay, so maybe we'll like to hear some pop music. Okay, and just simply just choose one. So what I understand is a uh, spinlet is actually your uh, streaming audio through the internet. Okay. So it's kind of simple actually for this. Uh, actually, let's see if we can play. Oh, I'm having some connection problem at the moment. Okay, here we go. So yeah, so that's pretty much about it about Spinlet. Okay. Another application that comes with it is 
your foos. I, uh, I seriously don't know what, what is this for actually. All I know is that, you know, you get to make an avatar here and then post up Facebook. I didn't, I don't really know what was the purpose of having this. So yeah, it comes with uh, your foos as well. So, I didn't, I didn't really play much with it. So yeah, these, these are the few pre-apps that come with it. And of course, another one is Road Sync. Okay, Road Sync is whereby you may need to, let's say, sync your emails with your Outlook Express or Exchange server. So yeah, so that's pretty much about it. And another thing about this uh, phone is that it didn't come with any drivers. All right, so uh, you may need to download the drivers on your own. And of course, the plus the USB drivers or the software that comes, uh, I'll post it up on the link later at the bottom where you can actually download it. Okay, and then uh, of course, Acer Sync is just basically just to sync your uh, calendar, email, and uh, that's that's it. And this one more for context, there's a separate uh, application. I think it's called uh, PIM. It's from Acer as well. So you're actually able to sync your Outlook calendars, oh sorry, Outlook contacts to your phone. So if let's say you have been using a Windows mobile phone, as most of your phone contacts are synced with Outlook, you can install that to sync it back to this phone. Alright, so I think that's pretty much about it. Okay, another thing I failed to mention on the previous video is... Uh, the internet okay browsing I just fairly touch a bit on it okay let's say if I were to open a page okay let's go open my website so because of the 2.6 inch LCD so you may not be able to see much um, details on the website okay again it does not support flash so do bear with uh, you know the, the do bear with it okay okay and it's best probably you let the site uh, finish loading first before you browse okay once the site is uh, fully loaded okay it's a fully loaded site all right okay um it doesn't really support flash just a light flash so probably if I were to press this video here it's uh, like the previous time it will just open up the video player and run through there okay and open this side so if you notice once the site is uh, fully loaded right Okay, the text is a bit slightly small, so you probably may need to zoom. So yeah, you can actually use the yes, the trackpad to actually zoom. Uh, going panning left and right. Okay, good thing about this uh, phone is that it actually helps to word wrap it, so you can you might have uh, you know it goes to the zoom part. You can actually read the details. Instance, let me go through here. Okay, it's, this is clear enough for you. Okay, you can actually use your finger to slide up and down. Okay, and of course, there's the trackpad, which is um, still getting used with. Sometimes sensitive, and it's uh, sometimes it's not. Um, not really sure how how it really works, but yeah, it's quite usable. So this is uh, what you're gonna get when you are actually browsing. So it's a bit small but I think it's still readable okay yeah. so that's pretty much about it about the browsing experience on this phone so if you're wondering how Facebook will look like so this is pretty much about it okay and surprisingly the quality on this camera which I took outdoors is uh, quite nice as you can see Outside, I'll post up a shot of this. Okay, it's it's a quite quite good actually the colors and all that. So yeah.
so basically it's a like I said, it's just a nice phone for all of those you know who have uh, you don't really expect much from uh, from from a phone that you know you just can go online check email you know just check your social networking and all that uh, I think this phone would do if you don't want to break your you know wallet and another thing I would like to emphasize is that okay because this is 2.2 some of most of the time when you install an application okay it will install on the phone so you may need to move it to your move it to your SD card okay to move it to your SD card okay okay go to settings and application okay you can see that manage application okay and then okay let's say okay. right you just open up the application which one you want to see all right you should see this actually for each app okay you can see Right, you should see at the bottom here. I'm not sure if you can. It's not that clear or not. Okay, there's an option to move to SD card. Okay, not all applications supported at the moment. Right, but it's advisable for you to do so. Actually, so it frees up the phone memory. Um, because I was a bit too ambitious. Uh, because all at first I thought all the application was installed straight away to the SD card, but um, just found out that it does not. It stores in the phone. And it actually uh, made the memory runs out even uh, quickly and the space. And when you have that problem, a uh, low space, okay, unfortunately, you won't be able to uh, receive SMSs or any you know text messages coming in. So yeah, so that's the only thing you might have to worry about. But if you move it to your SD card and free up most of your memory on the phone itself you should be fine so yeah so that's pretty much about it for this phone so yeah just rate or comment or if you have any questions just feel free to ask and hopefully i can answer all your questions